Boom, that time I think my pops tried to pimp me out in a penitentiary. So when I first get there, you know what I'm saying, it's the off days for our permanent officer, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't got to peep them out yet to see what type of officer they is, you know what I'm saying? My daddy, he ain't even mention who the dude is. But the, the officer that we got for them two days, you know what I'm saying, it's a woman, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking I'm finna come up on the come up. And then finally my papa like, you know what I who work in the who work our unit, you know what I'm saying? But the officer do who work the unit, you know what I'm saying? He cool or whatnot. So in them two days, you know what I'm saying, I just get acclimated, you know what I'm saying, with the unit, with the area, you know what I'm saying? Who's what, who's moving, what, who's gonna be the competition, you know what I'm saying? That's what you gotta do when you move to a penitentiary, you know what I'm saying? Penitentiary rules in effect, you know what I'm saying? You got to feel out what's going on. You got to see, you know what I'm saying, what you can do, what you can't do, how you need to move, what you need to finesse, who you need to get up under to find out what's going on before you just get to make a move. Because I'm going to tell you something, one of the most powerful things in a penitentiary, y'all probably don't hear a lot of people talk about, is a kite. Let me tell you something. You go somewhere sticking your nose in some, in some business, you ain't got no business sticking your nose in and they get to dropping them kites to the captain and to the lieutenant and up there to the warden. I'm telling you, listen to me. Before you even get to stick your foot through the door, them kites going to get you moved around and either get you shit somewhere else. Now, the kite is very powerful in the penitentiary. You don't know what a kite is? They let me know you ain't never been to the penitentiary. If you ain't never been to the penitentiary, I advise you to never go to see what a kite is. So one day, you know what I'm saying, after them two days done passed, me and Pops, you know what I'm saying, we standing out on the rock, you know what I'm saying, we on the top wall. And then we standing out there, you know what I'm saying? It's shift change. Now, if you've been before, you already know during shift change, you know, you usually always come out to sale. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to see who coming to work. If it ain't your permanent officer, you know, because you never know when they're going to do a switch up. So me and Pops, we we sit, you know what I'm saying? What we, what we, uh, what, what sale we in, you can see out the back window. So we get to see what officers is coming in. So we already see from a distance, you know what I'm saying? He had already told me, you know what I'm saying? That's an officer. So as we standing out on the rock, he come in. First thing I know it was, he on the chunky side. You know what I'm saying? He, he a little heavy little fella. You know what I'm saying? His shoe, his, his, if you know you a heavy little fella when them penitentiary boots that y'all get from Tallahoma when, after y'all go through y'all training, if your penitentiary, uh, uh, boots is leaning like that. You you a little on the chunky side. You know what I'm saying? He's a, he's a healthy little fella. So when he come in, you know what I'm saying? He got his little see-through lunchable box, and I see he got a bag of Jolly Ranchers. First thing I said to myself was, he just bring in a couple of pieces of candy. I said, you know what I'm saying? Because you 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 learn how to finesse on a whole nother level and read information and people on a whole nother level when you're in a penitentiary. So when I see the big bag of John, he got the he got the green he got the green bag in that John. When I seen that first thing I said was, ah, he bringing somebody something in here because ain't no way if he think I'm gonna sit here and think he just sucking on a bag of Jolly Ranchers all day he tripping. And then and then and then and then I see you know what I'm saying he got he got the little personal pan pieces from Mick, from uh from Pizza Hut, but he got two of them stacked in there. I'm saying to myself he finna give somebody some Jolly Ranchers. And he gonna give somebody else that other piece of, cause you know what I'm saying. That that's just how. I, and then he had two cold drinks, two different kinds of cold drinks. And see, I hate that your mind got to operate like that in the penitentiary, because you ain't gonna tell me you brought a Pepsi and a Dr Pepper and you just you just switching them up. No, that that ain't what's going on. You brought a pizza for somebody else. You brought either their Pepsi or their Dr. Pepper because that's what somebody done told you on their cell phone that they wanted. And you brought them bag of Jolly Ranchers because you got a specific kind. If not, you would have just pulled them in a little plastic bag. You'd have bought you a little handful. So that that's the first thing I say. You know what I'm saying? As soon as I seen him. So when he come in, you know what I'm saying? Of course, he get to his log book. He go to the cage. And then when he go to the cage, I noticed inmates was just pulling up on him. They just skirt. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm looking at Pop. Pop ain't saying nothing about dude. You know what I'm saying? Pop's a real convict. If he fool with the police, the police breaking the law. He don't like to talk to a frat nine with the police at all. He, he ain't one of them dudes. That, that, I hate this, but if you're watching this, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say it one time. You know what I'm saying? You you probably was a paper gangster at one time when it come to dealing, because that's one of the laws and, and policies, you know what I'm saying, when it come to being affiliated with GE. One of them is guards. You can't be up under the police like that unless the police breaking the law for you. Daddy, you might have rolled a couple of people up, you know what I'm saying, dealing with them police like that, because you, you, you was a little too touchy, you know what I'm saying, about people coming to the uh, hanging and talking to the police you take this how you want to take you can jump in the comment section if you want to from your job from your supervisor can, whatever you want to do i'm just saying yeah, yeah. but look <laughs> so after, after he get through doing what he gotta do 
the officer walk up the stairs. Now, if you've been in the penitentiary, you know when the officer walk, walk upstairs, you know what everybody say. Up top, up top, up the, 12 up top, up top. So when they say that, you know what I'm saying? Me and Pops are already sitting right there cool. And my Pops like, oh, he good. I don't even know why they doing all that, why he here. As soon as he say that, the police officer say, man, come on, man. Y'all know I'm just doing my job, man. I'm just doing eight and hit the gate. See, now I got to read them completely different. Because you always got these officers in here who really be trying to play like they just super duper cool. You know what I'm saying? You really, the, these ones on the back end, sometimes you don't know it's them. See, they'll get on the phone and call the officer across the hallway. And come over here and be nosy and do something during count. Next thing you know, it's but the whole time it's the officer in there. See, they strategic and they calculated. They do certain things to make the, the people in their part think they cool. When really, they, they just as powerful as a kite. Yeah, yeah, they call down there. They call down there and act like they on the phone. They, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The 25 cell, yeah, well, y'all come through here and count. Go to 25 cell. I'm almost certain I seen a charge in there. Yeah, yeah. He probably got a phone on him too. Just pat him down real quick. Make him, <laughs> hey, what y'all eating over here? And the whole time, he, he done called the police on him. Got the green team, get ready to come. So when he come around the corner with me and Pop standing up here, right? He hit the corner. Get what he hollered. Big Joe. My dad looked at him. He said, All right, what, what going on, Zio? He said, You got your new buddy right there with you, don't you? When he say that, Pop turned around and looked at me. I looked at Pop, me and Pop looking at each other. I said, I said, Oh, yeah, this penitentiary too nice right here. I said, It ain't no penitentiary in the state where the police can play that, can talk like that, my boy. He said, Man, go and tell him I'm cool, big Joe. My dad hollered. You know, it's my son right there. He said, Oh, man. He said, Now that you said, he said, Man, Look just like you, man. He said, man, oh, I said, man, I'm just playing, man. He said, I'm just messing with it. I said, no, I don't play with the police. He said, I ain't the police. Tell him Big Joe the whole time. Just a second time, you know what I'm saying? Tell him Big Joe. And my dad, I ain't said nothing yet. He said, man, go on, tell him Big Joe. He said, my son, man, he just might need, you know what I'm saying, be cool. He was like, man, I'm cool, man. I was like, I'm just messing with you. I said, yeah, because we don't do that new buddy stuff around here. I said, you must be a new buddy, you know what I'm saying, for, for you to even be talking like that. You know what I'm saying? You don't know if I got a life sentence and ready to risk it all or not. You know what I'm saying? Then I said, you're white on top of that. No disrespect to anybody who's watching it. I said, but you know what I'm saying? They, they wear buddy right there. Don't, don't go good with black folk, you know what I'm saying? You might need to be careful with that, my boy. He was like, oh, no, 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 no. He said, Yo. he, he said, he a feisty one. I said, feisty? I said, where you from, man? He said, I'm up from up here on these mountains. I said, it sound like because your vocabulary is a lot. I said, feisty. I said, that's for women right there. We don't do feisty. I said, you might, I said, might well go and do whatever it was. You got to keep, you can keep on moving, my boy. He said, man, go on, tell that big joke my dad said, man. And my son, man, my son. We not sad with the police family. You go and keep it moving. So when he walk off, you know what I'm saying? I'm watching, you know what I'm saying? Little big, like I said, he a little hefty fella, right? So when he walking off, I'm watching, you know what I'm saying? And his boots get to squeaking a little bit on the concrete. He, every time he walk, the right, it had to be the right foot. I said, I said, look at him, little fat fella. My dad, I said, Dad, what's up with dude? He said, man, I think he wanted him like his job a little too much. Soon as my daddy say that, one of the officers, that, that one of the one of the inmates in there, I this ain't what he said, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna switch up what he said. You know what I'm saying? Got to, got to be careful with the lightning. He tell the CEO, he said, "And thing thing in the day ain't it, my boy?" He said, "Man, quit playing with me, man." Man, quit play, quit play on me, man. Y'all don't play too much. I'm just saying. He said you got your favorite, got your favorite CO pants on today, ain't you? You thick, ain't you? I said, boy, they play. I said, they they be playing these games with him like that. He said they play with him like that. I said, what you mean? You like his job a little too much? He said, ah, oh, he most definitely a little suspect. You got, you know what I'm saying? You got, you got, you got to watch him, boy. You got to watch him. I said, ah, oh, I admit that. You know what I'm saying? So a couple of days go by. I fade, you know what I'm saying? I'm fading. I'm coming coming in from the wood plant. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking ready to jump in the shower. So when I come in the cell, pow, hey, they, uh, hey, let me let me uh break down real quick for the shower. He holler, boy, go on, just do whatever you gotta do. He like, man, I ain't finna go. I said, man, look here, man. Hey, right, next time I come here, man, ask about this respect, you know what I'm saying? You said about this cell. Hey, like, look here, pop. You gonna move around, you gonna step on up out of here, you know what I'm saying? Boy, go and put your clothes on, boy. Ain't nobody staying there. I said, man, all right. Keep on, pop, pop. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna two piece here, Dad. Keep on thinking this plan. Keep on thinking I'm playing. Next time I tell you, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna break down and get in this shower. You know what I'm saying? Penitentiary rules in effect. You don't get on the door. Man, quit playing with me, boo. He get up. My daddy, you know, he he had a strong little forearm on him. You know what I'm saying? But I think he was a little, I think he was a little weak in the legs. You know what I'm saying? I'm.
I'm gonna go up on him and scoop him, you know what I'm saying? Why he trying to do all that, you know what I'm saying? We used to play a lot in the set, but I ain't gonna lie to you. He, he thought I was playing, you know, because I had a, a lot of resentment built up a lot of times, you know what I'm saying? We had them conversations in there. So a lot of times when I used to wrestle with him, I was really trying to check his weak points that just in case I got a <laughs> Jean-Claude Van Damme in here, I'm, I'm kind of knowing what's up. And I already knew I was going <laughs> to hit him with that right jab in the rib and then get <laughs> I was going to make well them in there. You, I promise you I will. Then I, I was going to scoop him. As soon as I was going to scoop him, I was going to go for his head to land on the game. Yeah, I'm just telling you, Dad, if you see it, that's exactly what was going on every time I touched you up and up. So I break down, you know what I'm saying, come out of the shower, you know what I'm saying? I got my little laundry bag or whatever. So when I come out, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I got my grades on or whatever, but it's a powerful man. I'm going to shoot it straight with it. Now, if a woman working in here, of course, you know what I'm saying? You you come out with the grades on, you know, because she might be a little pig watcher. But you know what I'm saying? In the penitentiary now, these dudes are here, you know, so you got to be careful. So, but you ain't, it's only one situation. I think I was at West High where it was a guard down there. He, he, he was actually down there, you know, he was most definitely down there. Yeah, putting pig in it. Yeah, he was more definitely down there. Yeah, and, and dudes was, I got a couple of stories about dude. So look, check this out. So as I'm walking to the shower, I'm on the top walk. I'm going to come down the steps. The CO come out of the cave, right? He closed the door. You know what I'm saying? And he walked towards the front door. But see, the front door is right there by the showers. You got the shower on the right, showers on the left. Then when you go straight through the middle, you go through the door. So I'm thinking maybe he finna go let somebody in or whatever, or whatever, right? I'm not knowing this is this is probably a predatory or cal calculated move from this from this perverted CEO. So I come out, you know what I'm saying? I'm walking. I get to the shower. I, I get to the shower. He done he done post up and just stood right there. It's a line in the shower, so I gotta kind of it's a line. So I gotta sit right here and kind of wait for a little second. This man gonna say, man. Wish I could get buff like that. He was like, man, you don't even, he was like, I don't even never see you. He ain't even, he just straight get into talking about my chest. You know what I'm saying? It did look like you could sit a cup on it. You know what I'm saying? Because I would, you know what I'm saying? I still had the dreads at the time. You know what I'm saying? I had a little eight pack too. You know what I'm saying? I used to work out a whole lot. You know, you see that right there. You know what I'm saying? Core workouts and stuff like that. I used to plank it up a lot. You know what I'm saying? We doing all of that. So when he say that, I was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I stand like I go on and kind of cover it up like this right here. But then I noticed, you know what I'm saying? He kind of, he kind of up and down me, right? He kind of scanned me. I was like, what's, I know I ain't tripping. So I kind of turned to the side a little bit on the wall. Because I don't know what type of reindeer games he playing in here. One thing for sure, two things for certain. I ain't going to put my hands on him because I ain't finna go to match for secure. But I ain't finna sit right here and act like he ain't just looked at me like I'm a piece of eye candy right here at the shower. Well, I said, man, hey, who in shower three, man? Oh, we we'll on the way out because he listen. Dude right here, he, what's, what's up with this boy? Got a little twinkle in his eye down here. He's sitting here waiting for y'all to get out the shower and watch that water run down y'all back or something. I don't know what he got going on. So look, check this out. I go and take a shower real quick, you know what I'm saying? When I come out, I pop the door. I kind of look out, you know what I'm saying, and see where this boy at. Because I don't know what type of reindeer game little, the little hefty fellow was playing. So I come on out. I fade on to the, but this time I don't even walk in front of the cage. You can go the back way. And go up the steps, you know what I'm saying? And go behind the cage instead of going in front of the cage. Because I ain't even finna play the eye contact with this boy. Because there's a lot of dudes in here just to get up under. They'll come out the shower. They ain't gonna tell you. They ain't gonna admit it. But they'll walk by the shower and still have a little water drizzling on them, right? They'll, they'll, they'll fade on through. And they'll slam the door on purpose, right? Dramatic effect, me, please. Dude, they'll slam the door to get the attention. Then when they walk back, they'll make sure the boy look up. Then they'll, they'll look at him, you know what I'm saying? Look at the boy to catch eye contact, hoping, you know what I'm saying, later on they lead to a whole nother conversation. The folk won't fool me. I'm very observant. I see what's going on. So I fade up on the step. I go in, I get to the cell. I stick the... <laughs> My daddy done took the rig out the door. Dude, I just told you I was finna go to the shower. What type of penitentiary games are you playing in here, Dad? I pop, 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 pop. Boom. That's what he say. I'm thinking, man, he, this man better not be in here playing no playing no piggly games in, in this cell. I just told him, I don't think you ready to go in the shower. I know you talking to your little pig toe or whatever, but I know one thing, y'all better not be playing y'all better not be playing them type of games. I just I told y'all finna get in the shower, bro. So he popped the door right. I walk in and take a, a deep breath out the muscle. I got the if it smell like baby oil and lotion in here, I'm I'm finna I'm finna snap on him. I'm finna snap. So I walk in the cell. 
He sit back down on the phone. I'm back on the phone. Baby. I said, oh, he, I don't know who he think this is. I am, but this, we ain't finna keep doing it. I said, they did it all. I said, let me get to say it real quick. I'm finna, uh, let me put my clothes on and stuff. This man ain't gonna say, boy, go and put your clothes on, all right, man. I'll pinch his rules in the fit. I said, hey, man. <laughs> Man, let me, I need to put my clothes on real quick, put my lunch on and stuff real quick. I was like, man, step out the cell, man. You can call that gal back in just a second, man. You ain't got to just tell her you'll call her back real quick. If if if, if you gonna if you finna get off the phone for five minutes and you think that girl finna call somebody else or, 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 or go do something she ain't got no business doing, you don't need to be talking to her no way. Boy, she ain't even, it ain't even, she, she ain't even finna, it ain't even nothing. I don't even need to room nothing. Man, I'm trying to break the, come on, Dad, come on, I'm about to say it real quick, come on. I already done let you stay in here with me, me, you know, breaking down for the shower. Nigga, you, come on, Dad, come on. Man, uh, he, he holler, hold on real quick, I'm going to put you in my pocket. You going to put her in your, in your pocket? Bro, she don't want to sit in the pocket. Why you sitting out on the, let that girl off the phone. Oh, oh, it was a lot of dudes like that. In the pit. Let that girl off the phone. I'm going to keep you in my pocket. See, what you trying to say, Daddy? Cause it might take me 10, 15 minutes to get to get ready up in here. You know what I'm saying? I might take my time. You talking about I'm gonna put you in my pocket. That's that mean and give me a minute and he gon' and he gonna have it together. Who alright, that was a, she gonna be in your pocket for a long time like that. He when he walked back, he bumped me, right? I said, oh, you know, that's a breach of security right there. You <laughs> you don't bump into no man when he got his shower shoes on. I said, what you got going on? He goes, hey, oh, you ain't divorced no more. <laughs> I said, you ain't neither. I said, so if I put my hands on you, them folks ain't gonna come up here to save you. You know, I might wanna step on up out of there. <laughs> Man, you better quit playing with me. And I said, all right, step on out of the cell. He get out and close the door right. <clears throat> I put the violation up. <laughs> ain't talking about nothing. Take my time real quick. He knock on the door. Pop, 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 pop. Boom. Come on now, come on now. I need to take care of some business. Come on now. I hit the button. Pow. Man, what's up? Man, watch out. Quit playing with me. He come on. <laughs> when he come in the cell, I said, hey, dad. I said, well, what's up with the old boy? He said, who? I said, the police down there. He said, what, what's up with him? He's still sitting on the phone, right? He said, why, what's up with him? I said, man, I was down there at the shower. I said, you know, when I got down there, you know, he talking about I'm real. He talking about, hey, you not. He talking about I'm nice and buff, right? <laughs> My dad said, he said, what? I said, yeah, the boy said I was buff. And then he and then he said, you know, he don't never see me out in the park working out. I said, I don't know. I don't know how to take that. He said, <laughs> he said uh, I told you. I told you that uh, I told you he liked his job a little too much. I said, you 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 think he? He said, yeah. He said, go on down there and tell him bring you something. I said, excuse me? Pardon me, sir? What did you just say? And then his gal must have said something on the phone because he said, Oh, that, that boo, boo just said the dude, the dude said he was buff while he was standing down there at the shower. Hey, I, told, I told him dude like the job too much. I said, what, what she think is funny too? I said, cause it ain't, I, I said, I ain't playing them type of guy. He said, I'm, he said, just go on, take care of your business or you can go on and get us something. Us? What? Hold on, dad. Hold on. Tip, tip, time now, Rick. Commercial break me, please. I said, what, what you just say? He said, go on down there and get us something here. He said, man, you probably do. He said, you probably, yeah. I said, man, quit playing with me, my guy. So I got on to finish getting ready or whatever. I don't know what type of guy he, he playing. So a couple of days go by again. Me and my dad and I heard playing chess. The guard come out of the, he come out of the cave. <laughs> when he walk over, you know what I'm saying, my daddy kind of look up, you know what I'm saying. So I look over too to see where the police going. We don't know if he searched the cells or you know if he doing. I don't know what he doing, you know what I'm saying. My daddy got the phone in his pocket. So I, I'm, I'm straight. I ain't worried about nothing. I ain't got no narcotics on me, no contraband, no none of that. But my daddy was so shaky, ain't no telling. Had the police been coming over to the green team, he might have thought it was a good idea to pass me the phone under the under the table. He was so shaky at the time, but little did he know, like I told him all the time, you the one with two life sentences? Bro, I'm not taking no charges for you. You shouldn't even care about getting a write-up. How does that affect you? <laughs> what? If anything, anytime I got some, I'm giving it to you. I'm giving it to you. Even if you didn't have a life sentence, you will miss my entire life. So you're taking every charge every single time. I don't care what's going on. If somebody run to me and pitch me something, just on the strip, I'm going to say, here, daddy, take this. You're going you're, you're gonna to be fine. You're going to be 
you go get you five or ten days in a hole, you know. You've been to every penitentiary in the state. You know every everybody. You know what I'm saying? Every officer that used to be an officer, they're a warden now. So it we, we have no problems getting your right up for resolve pretty fast. Cause the only thing we're gonna tell them is hey, he, Big Joe is down there in the hole, you know, 143156. If, if I'm remembering the number correctly. If you counted it, you know, back then, yeah, yeah, yeah. He got a one in in front of his number. So we we we're gonna definitely get you sorted out. You you ain't gotta worry about it. My number start with a four. Meaning that you know that's 2007. Daddy, you got your number back in the 1980s. Them, everybody know you. We we you ain't gonna do a lot of time. Your your grandfather then. You know what I'm saying? So you 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 gonna take these charges every single time. I don't care what's going. On. You're taking charges for for peons around here if it come to me. Hey Joe, I think they finna search my seat. Hold this real quick. Give it to me. I'm gonna give it to my daddy. <laughs> you got two life sentences, bro. <laughs> you you'll be just fine. So as we sit right here, you know what I'm saying. And I like to talk crazy. You know what I'm saying when I'm playing chess. Cause chess is a mental game. You know what I'm saying? It's it's 90% mental, like basketball, the other part, you know what I'm saying? It's pop, 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 pop. Come on, daddy, man, I can't beat you if you ain't gonna move your pieces, man. Come on, man, what you got going on? Pop, pop. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm gonna counter, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even got the little thing you plop, you know what I'm saying, when you move. But when I move, I, I just do it just, just to be doing it. Why you keep doing that for? Because I'm on the timer. It's invisible. But I, as you see, I'm already two steps. Why you taking so long to move your pieces, bro? Well, whatever. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? The dude walk up, he, he said, oh, he he cocked his leg up because we had a desk. It's got four. We at the table where it's got four stools on it, right? He come and stand on the side where I'm at with the other stool beside me. And the man, he said, he said, oh, he said, oh, he said, so your son play chess too? I look at dad. I said, ain't no. I said, he must see dad out here playing because I know dad ain't having conversations with the police because he don't deal with the police. He said, he hit him with the same line. Ah, that's my son. I said, yeah, I play chess. What's up? He was like, I look like you pretty good, too. He said, look like you over here beating up on Big Joe. He said, I ain't beat me yet. I said, man, uh, how long you going to be right here? He said, what you, be right where? I said, man, I don't fool with the police. Let the police break the law. He said, do what? I said, are you here, right? I said, I don't deal with the police. Let the police break the law. I said, what we doing? He was like, man, go on and tell them, Big Joe. He said, that's my son. You need to, at, at this point, he think you supposed to vouch for him. So, so somebody need to say something at this point. He was like, man, whatever. He walked off. The next day come. Now, every now and then you will see people that got the real cigarettes with the filter on. Majority of the time, people just bragging in tobacco, you know what I'm saying? And them folks smoking the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Them folks is most definitely smoking the word. You know, John 3, 16. For some reason, that was people's favorite scripture to roll up with tobacco or weed. I don't know why. You go in there and you, what y'all smoking? Uh, so God loved the world. He gave us the only begotten. Man, y'all quit playing with the word like that. I'm just telling you, Joe T. You know, I'm just telling you. He said, man, you know, and then my other one to smoke, I think it's 1 Timothy 1 and 7 or 2 Timothy 1 and 7. For God to give us a, a spirit of fear. And we in the penitentiary, Joe T. You can't be scared of nothing here. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm smoking. I'm smoking. Sick, I'm smoking. Second Timothy one and seven today. For God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but a power. Listen to me. That's why I got this butcher right here. It's power right here in the butcher. Sound mind, Joe T. You know what I'm saying? Got to, got to get, got to keep this tight right here. You know what I'm saying? Got to finesse my way through this thing. You know what I'm saying? Power. Sound mind. You know what I'm saying? God give us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love. He said that love. He gets you messed up, Joe T. He says, you know, I don't know about that one, but the rest. I said, man, y'all is in here tripping. I'm just saying. He said, hey, he said, who's ever in Christ, he's a new creation. I smoked that one too. He said, whoever in Christ, he is a new creation. He said, old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become. <laughs> See this knife right here? Yeah, threw the old one away, sharpened him. He all knew. I said, man, y'all is crazy. So the officer, after I done said this, I'm not knowing what he's going to do. This man come to the cell during his count, during count time. He popped the door right. Pow. As soon as he popped the door, he peeped his head in. He supposed to be doing his count. Then he he throw in a little. My daddy said, what is that? I said, whatever it is, you going to the home for it if they come in here and search and find it. He said, boy, I don't know. He get up off the bottom. Boy, boy I don't know why you think oh, I'll take a charge for you. I don't owe you nothing, boo. I don't owe you nothing. I understand that and I done missed a lot of your life. I ain't say you owe me nothing. 
I said you got two life sentences and it only makes sense for you to take the charge and not me. That I don't care nothing. I ain't never say you owe me. But <laughs> what you're going to do is take that time. You go, you're go. going to the hole, Dad. You're going to the hole. Because I ain't going to say it's mine. We both going to go. What you going to say? Well, it's your sons? Huh? Is that what you're going to do? I'm just telling you. He said, get on down here and pick that up. I ain't pick. I don't know what that man done through in here. I'm not going to pick that up. He said, come on, boo. I said, man, go on and pick it up, Dad. So my daddy pick it up. He throw it to me right Cause, man, you shaky as ever. It's wrapped up. It's got paper around it, but then it's wrapped up in in saran clear wrap, right? Soon as I grab it, I can tell it's real cigarettes. So I, you know, a little cigarette in here, I, I might can get five out of whatever commissary for a cigarette with a filter on it. Easy, you know what I'm saying? I might can get them for eight. Pins on if he's sick. Pins on if he's a nicotine head. You know what I'm saying? Now it's a, now every now and then you let it get dry around right here, and by the time you 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 can tell when it's dry on cigarettes around right here. The, a lot of these folks when it's dry on cigarettes and coffee, these folks grumpy around here. They angry. You know what I'm saying? They they like knuckleheads in the summer. They don't know what to do but get in trouble. So you ain't got to do nothing to sit around. You can tell when it's dry because all the people that normally be in the cell, they out. They, hey hey oh, uh, what you got going on, Joe T man? <laughs> You don't never come over here. Man, you know, I was sitting in that cell, man, watching TV. I was like, man, didn't they get the scratching and stuff? What's wrong? Wait, wait a minute. Man, so I ain't had a cigarette. I ain't had a cigarette. Mm. Man. I ain't had a cigarette in two, three days. It looked like it. What's wrong with you, boy? You acting like that. Yeah. saying, he like, yeah. you ain't got no cigarette to do you, Joe, too. I ain't got no cigarette. You got some coffee. Man, I ain't got nothing for you, family. You you tripping. You <laughs> go on about your business. So when I unwrap the thing right <laughs> and see it, I'm looking at my daddy. My daddy look at me. Me and my daddy looking at each other. He said, is that a cigarette with filters on? I said, sure is. He said, he said, that boy like you. I said, why you keep playing with me for that? I'm just saying. He said, you just told the boy, you know what I'm saying? You don't deal with the police unless they break the law. He said, he didn't broke the law for you. I said, he didn't break the law for me. I said, the boy wants some money. He said, he don't want no money. He don't want. I said, well, what do you want, daddy? Go, go, what do you want? Go on, say something else disrespectful in here. Go on, say something. You, just, like, just, like they, just like Eddie Murphy told Martin on life. Go on, go on, mention the watch one more time. Don't even say watch. He said, Yo, this, you, if you say watch, you go, oh, wait a minute. Go on, go on and say something out, your, out, your, out the side of your neck, daddy. Boy, you go, I'm just saying, he said, go on down and go on. He said, go on down there and holler at him out the counter. You need to specify when you say holler. What you mean? Go down there and you know what I'm saying, see if we can get him on get him on the toy, you know what I'm saying, and see if we can, you know what I'm saying, arrange something. What you trying to say, then? I'm just saying, go on down there and talk to him. He brought you some cigarettes. He brought us some cigarettes. He said, Well, go and give them to me then. Nah, 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 nah. I got no nigga. He said, he ain't got what's that? Six, seven cigarettes? You get your five dollars. He said, you know what? Thirty dollars. Man, brought you thirty dollars. I, I don't care what he brought me. He brought me something. And when he brought me something else, remember what you just said. He said, man, whatever. So the count clear. When the count clear, this my move right here. I take my, I get a piece of paper, right? I get a piece of paper. And since my daddy won, since he don't know he's taking all charges, I write the number down on a piece of paper, ball it up. Soon as the dope pop, I ain't finna wait no time. This man just brought me some cigarettes, some filters on. I pop it up, pop, walk my little bow legged tail on up out of there. You know what I'm saying? When I come out, he looks straight up at me. I look down at him, we looking at each other. He said, what's going on, little Joe? I said, man, I ain't doing nothing. He said, you good? I said, oh, I'm great. Tony the Tiger, great. You know what I'm saying? He was like, oh, that was he. Like, man, come holler at me. I said, I tell you what I do. I said, I come holler at you. I said, pull your, I said, pull your trash can out, out of the, out of the cage. I said, I said, if I, I said, if I hit it from right here, you know what I'm saying? I right, come on down there. If not, you know what I'm saying? Just pass it to me. He said, oh, I got it. He said, oh, you, you think you can make it from right there? I said, I know I can make it. He not knowing I got that phone number rolled on there. He pulled the trash can out, right? I. Everybody in the pod, they don't know I'm, I'm hiding in plain sight. You know what I'm saying? Pin attention rules is in effect. You hear me? Dramatic effect me, please. Everybody in the pod room, they, oh, Joe T, you got that, Joe T? I know I do. I know I do. I, I missed the first one on purpose. The officer, he pick it up, throw it back up there to me. I'll try it again, Joe T, try it again. I, they had to come out of the cell. Boy, what is you doing? I said, I'm just chilling right now. Watch out. He said, watch out. I, my daddy get in front of him like he garbage, right? I done hit over the top of him, <laughs> Kevin Durant. I, I make it. <laughs> he said, ah, everybody go, ah, I see you, Joe T. I said, yeah, 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 yeah. He said, Joe, big Joe, you gonna let him do it like that? I said, ah, he ain't got no choice. 
He ain't got no choice. He said, y'all know he got there for me. I said, I ain't got nothing for you, boy. You ain't raised me. I'll tell you, you've been bitching my whole life. What's wrong with you? I ain't <laughs> look, look, look. So I, come, I walk on down there to holler at the CEO, right? He said, can you do something with them? I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll probably get five dollars and see what I said. Well, look, check this out. I said, what I did? I said, check the trash. I said, check the trash. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to cook, cook. You know what I'm saying? He was like, what's in the trash? I said, that would... I said, just check the, I said, when you, you know, next count before you get ready to roll, you know what I'm saying? I said, just check the trash, you know what I'm saying? I said, just remember it. I said, that's all I'm saying. I said, just remember it. Don't take no paper with you. Don't you walk out of here with nothing. What's wrong with it? Write it down on you or something. I said, but check the, check the trash. So I go home, back my business, right? We go to the wreck yard, we chill, we come back soon, we come in, my guy do me like this. Pretty clever. I said, yeah, yeah, you got to be up in here. He said, I like it. He said, I like it. I can deal with that. I walk my little boy, let me tell you a little thing. I said, hey, Pops. Oh, it's going down. He said, what? He said, what, what, what happened? What's, what we got? What we got? I said, just give me a, just give me a couple days. Just give me a couple days. He said, well, what I need to do? What you mean what you need to do? You need to go down there and holler at them if you want to do something. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to bust the move. I'm going to do what I need to do. You know what I'm saying? Then we can, you know what I'm saying? Blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? You let me know what you got. You know what I'm saying? I'll figure it out from there. He said, boy, you kill me. You think you a real business man. I said, no, because you, you, you know, you be playing. I said, I ain't even got my phone that you don't promise me yet. The phone I got, it's, it's put up somewhere. I only done seen it one time. It still got the plastic on the screen. And then and really we ended up losing that phone. And I ain't even told that story yet. But if you want to hear that story, jump in the comment section and ask us how, how I end up getting the phone back. We end up getting on the shirt. Somebody end up stealing the phone. I done had to finesse the situation and get the phone back. So, look. So, the boy got the number right. He get out of work. He don't, he, I don't even know if my boy got to the car in the parking lot. This man had to call me while he walking. To the car, he and he showed his number. Had to know it with him, so the phone ring. Me and my daddy got the phone in the car. Right? I mean, me and my phone. Me and my daddy got the toy in the seat. So the phone ring. I jump down off the top. Boom. I do him like this right here. He said, "What?" He said, "What is it?" I said, "That's the police." He said, "That's the who?" That's the boy. Said, you okay, that boy? I told you. You done told me what? What up, though? Hey, man, what you got going on? I said, man, I ain't doing nothing. I said, but look. I said, I ain't gonna hold you on here long because we finna get ready to put the phone up. I said, but uh, what we need to do to get, get a bunch of them right there? Man, hey, I was gonna bring you a whole pack tomorrow, man, but uh, you know, you ain't even gotta pay me now. I said, no, nah, listen to me. I said, I don't think you realize, you know what I'm saying, how much the money costs and how, many, how, much, how much that stuff worth, you know what I'm saying? So we arranged something. He bring me the pack for free. Then we done arrange, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to give him $5, you know what I'm saying? He's going to bring me a pound of tobacco every week. Don't you know as soon as this man brought me this pack of cigarettes, they transferred a man and put him down in intake. And the officer they had in intake, they move up to our unit. But the dude they move in our unit was his cousin. So the boy, he thinking he just going to be calling, being cool with me in a penitentiary. And now he can't even bring us nothing. Man, you need to arrange something with your cousin now that you working down here at intake and let your cousin know when he walk through, you're going to let whatever pass through. And then we're going to be what it is. He was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll run that. I'm going to run that down to you. He was like, man, just give me a little time. Just stay in touch with me, man. And, you know, we'll. Man, you ain't finna keep talking to me, boy. If you ain't. 